And I'm Professor Two. Together we are testing. We're going to be mixing chemicals, but before we start, here is a few safety materials you will need. When you're in the lab, you're going to need goggles, gloves, and a lab coat. We will show you how to use these properly. When you're in the lab, you're going to wear goggles to protect your eyes from any harmful materials like glass, metals, vapors, gas, and chemicals. Eye protection is a must in any lab activity when the chemicals and heat and the heating source is present. I will show you the right goggles to use. See? Dude, what are you doing? I'm wearing goggles for chemical safety. Those are not the right goggles. The right ones are actually here too. Why don't you put on the right pair of goggles while I talk about gloves? We have to wear gloves in the lab to protect our hands. They keep our hands from being exposed to chemicals and other hazardous materials. These are what real safety gloves look like. Two, what in the world are you doing? Gloves. Baseball gloves? I don't think those are going to work. Here you go. Here's a pair of gloves that will work real life. Make sure you have the right size. Because if you don't, it'll be kind of hard to get on. So, when you're in the lab, you need to wear a lab coat to protect your skin and clothes. In the lab, spills and splashes occur all the time. Sometimes when you get spills and splashes on you, or maybe even if you catch on fire, the lab coat is easier to get off than your clothes. I have a perfect lab coat. I can stay warm and cozy while I'm mixing chemicals in the lab. A Snuggie? Really, too? Do you think that's going to protect you from birds or spills? Here, here's a lab coat that will protect you in the lab. Now we are ready to mix chemicals. We have all our safety gear on. The chemicals we are mixing today are baking soda and vinegar. First, you need one cup of baking soda. It is a sodium bicarbonate. Next, you'll need one cup of vinegar. Vinegar is acidic acid. Mixing the two will cause uh, a reaction. The vinegar produces an unstable acetic acid, which breaks down into carbon dioxide and water. The reaction causes a fizzing thing and a bubbling effect, which is carbon dioxide escaping. This is the chemical equation for, for baking soda and vinegar. So I hope you learned a lot today about how to be safe in a lab. We hope you will use this in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm Professor Ted. And I'm Professor Tube. Together, Together we are Ted Tube.